Hello, hello, my amazing creative friends. Today uh, I'm going to share a quick tip with you how to analyze what has been working for you, which artwork or designs are selling uh, better in your online shops. Uh, for example, if you're selling on microstocks like I do, or on Spoonflower, print on demand websites, uh, anywhere on the web from your own website, you will be able to implement this tip and see greater clarity in your plan on what to create, which topics work best in your uh, particular portfolio. So stay tuned for that. Hello, hello, my name is Oksantia. I am a textile designer with more than 13 years of experience and I'm here to help you create art that fits your soul as well as your family. I uh, have this uh, process that I've been using for my own work and that's been working very well, so I am going to uh, share it today with you in this video. Uh, first of all, what I suggest is uh, to set up a monthly, let's say around the first Monday of every month, or maybe you're working on the weekends or whenever you work, set up a monthly recurring uh, reminder on your calendar so that it sends you an email or a notification on your phone to schedule, uh, to reserve some time and uh, set up a planning session. So you can set, sit down and then uh, learn how to create screenshots on uh, your computer, no matter if you're using Windows or Mac, just look up how to create screenshots. And then uh, this is all you need to start analyzing your uh, progress. So first month, you will be able to just go in into every uh, place where you sell your images online and you will create screenshots on what has been selling. If it's tricky to create a screenshot in particular website, for some reason, just jot down uh, what has been selling and uh, take a screenshot of particular images. Not exactly, you don't have to take a whole page. Sometimes it's useful to take the whole page and put everything into one uh, file or folder on your computer or I like to use free tools like Evernote where you can put screenshots and jot down ideas right into one note or Trello which is as a similar functionality. Then you collect all of that information from all of your shops and together with your ideas and lastly you will put in some things that you notice from the most popular images on those websites that you are selling on uh, or on your particular website by itself. So jot down your ideas and see which topics sell, which styles, take some screenshots. Again, do not copy any other artists, just use it for inspiration for your topics, what you like, what ideas you could be creating. Then whenever the time comes when that you set aside for creating your artwork, you will have already some organized ideas of what works and what is popular at the moment for other people. Now, set aside some time and to create an experiment. The first experiment is something that I suggest uh, around 20 patterns. I know for some of you when you're just starting out it's a lot, but this is uh, to give you a glimpse that what you can uh, aspire towards or you can just start with three patterns or even your first, very first pattern, this will work as well. But this is more of for people who already see, uh, they know how to create patterns and they are selling already. So what you go, when you go in and you uh, look at what you jotted down, all of your ideas, you start creating an experiment. Let's say you figured out that uh, for some reason, patterns with hearts are selling very well in your portfolio. And this particular, or maybe the particular uh, style sells very well, like a doodly fun style, let's say. Then you go in and you create 20 patterns in either a similar style or on the same topic or using very similar elements, just a little bit, change them up a little bit. And then you upload those patterns to your shop. The rest of the months, create whatever you want. What are you inspired about? It may be something seasonal, Christmas is coming up or something like that. So the month goes, finishes up, you repeat the, you see the notification in your calendar and you repeat again the same process. Take screenshots, take notes and review the previous month's uh, screenshots as well. Uh, when you do this, the 15 minutes or 30 minutes each month, 
months after months you will get such awesome clarity of what sells for you and for other people, what you were able to create, which topics you enjoyed, which topics you didn't, that you, uh, after six months, after one year, you will be far, far better off understanding the industry and understanding your own personal preferences and what your own clients like and enjoy to buy from you uh, so much more. So this is an awesome, awesome trick that I uh, encourage you to use this kind of strategy sessions and review analytic sessions are super important and I found them to be not so helpful when I'm just writing in text. They're much more helpful when I do screenshots of things and some statistics or maybe you uh, can see uh, all kinds of data that you want to put in, you can put in into those files and review them, them regularly. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy my uh, little tip on how to analyze what's been working for you and what's been working in the industry. And if you want to learn how to grow uh, your pattern portfolio so much faster, I uh, suggest that you check out my free bonus ebook e that I have. It's a workbook uh, that you can work through uh, the many tips how to grow your portfolio faster starting from just one vector pattern grab your copy in the description link uh, or in the info card in this video all right you guys please like this video if you liked it share it with your creative friends and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned to the pattern vibe i love you and i'll see you in my next video bye